guys, so it is another day now and I'm about to head out for the day so I'm going to go to Manchester today so I went to Manchester a few weeks ago but I wanted to go again because I looked around one bit of Manchester and that's about it really, like I went shopping and that was about it but I tried to like, see what other places were in Manchester and Manchester is quite like a big city so I'm gonna go look there today, but I'm just currently packing my stuff for today. I think I might um, bring my coat just in case it does rain because it's looking like it might rain a little bit today. Who knows? But um, I'm gonna pack it anyway just to uh, be prepared. So, yeah. All right, so I'm on my way to get a coffee right now because I just pre ordered a um, coffee from Costa. So I'm just gonna get that and then go to the train station. Ready to go to Manny. Hello, what else? My iced coffee. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, so I'm in Manchester right now, so I'm in like the place where all the cathedral and all that is, so that's pretty fun, but um, yeah, so that was quite a long train ride, but it feels like quite a long train ride, but um, I'm here now, so that's all that matters. Um, so I'm going to go for a little look around, you know, and maybe get something sweet as well. Um, yeah. Wow, I love this fountain, like, I like the way this fountain's like, mate, you it runs along down here and through the big castle thing. Alright, so I'm in next right now because um, I just like looked at the time and I was going to go for like lunch straight away like after the season went after I went to the train station but um turns out I thought it was going to be at 12 o'clock but I looked at the time and it was something like 10 o'clock which I was very surprised about so I left my home around about half eight-ish so I think we made quite a good time if you ask me but I was very surprised so Obviously the restaurants and stuff are open until like half twelve, twelve-ish, like quite lunch time. So there's not really much like places to get food and stuff, so I'm gonna do some shopping um right now. Um we'll go look at a few places and um, then I'll go for lunch. Um it's like a, a good quarter in Manchester called the Northern Quarter, which is like full of like restaurants and like all that, so I'm gonna go there after um but right now it's Shopping time. Right, so I'm in Home Sense right now, which I love. Like, I love Home Sense so much. Like, I can literally spend like days in here. Like, I just love all like, the weird homely items. Like, I just love homeware in general, but I love like Home Sense because they have all these like really weird like gems which you find. So, um, yeah. Like, for example, Halloween dishes. Like, you don't find these like anywhere else apart from like Home Sense. Like. You don't have to go to a normal store and see all this, like, this is just like, yeah. Like, look at all this. Yeah. Just make small, like, decorate for awesome already. Oh, well, these, like, for some candles as well. So this is pumpkin pancakes, I think it is. Yes, it is. Mmm, this tastes, this tastes good. <laughs> this smells good, actually. Um, well, this is uh, good blows. Um... Okay, so this is olive lemon from. I presume it's just like olive lemon. I'm not sure what that smells like, but. Mmm, smells good. They all smell really good. Yes. Okay, so now I'm in Primark right now. So I've got a few like homeware bits because I don't need clothes because I've got like enough clothes. Like, well, like my drawers and my wardrobe are just like full to bursting. So definitely don't need 39 clothes for a very long time, but. Got some home worry bits, so I love a good old home worry item. Okay, so I'm in Billy Gardens right now, so here's what it looks like. So that's a beautiful park everything and 
Last time I came here, I went to the Pizza Express over there. I was actually all right -ish. Like, I actually like the pizzas and stuff, so there we go. But um, right now, we're trying to look for somewhere to eat right now. And um, so, um, that's what I'm doing right now. Also, sorry for like, pulling these like, facial expressions. I feel like I've noticed like every time I talk out, Sam like do like, facial expressions like that. I honestly do not know why, but I, and I honestly do not know why, but um, I'm like, uh, there we go. Okay, well I do not know where in Manchester I am right now, but I'm down to like alleyway street kind of thing. And uh, we're trying to find like somewhere to eat, but like, oh, there's always like cocktail bars and there's a lot of like small independent shops which went into because they all looked really good. Like there's like a candle shop which went, went into before that. So like really nice like flowers and candles and bars and stuff so that was quite good but now I'm just trying to find a restaurant because I'm very very hungry right now. Ta -da! So I'm at this like place called Ask Italian so I've got to say anti pasty board which looks so good. Alright so yes it is a few days later now and I'm like editing this um, vlog but I didn't vlog the rest of um, that trip to Manchester because I went home so this needs a little bit of explanation so I after that clip I went home and stuff and it was literally the worst journey ever like oh my god alright. So I wasn't really feeling too well because I like didn't sleep. I barely slept like the night before. And so I basically was like running on no sleep and just like drinking coffees, like trying to stay awake. And so obviously you can't really do that. It's like, it's not the healthiest thing to do. So I started feeling a little bit tired and then it just developed into like me not being too well like I didn't feel really that well so I decided to just go home after I ate that um, antipasti at the restaurant and so I did I went to the train station all was well I got on the train to go home so I had to take two trains because where like I wanted to go home to um, didn't there wasn't like a through train that goes right through to where I wanted to go. So I had to take two connecting trains. So I had to take one train that goes to like halfway and then another which goes obviously towards where I want to go. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll stop at this like train station because I thought this train station had a bit where it connects to where I want to go. But it was in like a tiny like village kind of. But um, so I stopped there and got off the train thinking that another train's gonna come and take me home. Well, it didn't. So, um, there, was a, there was no trains at all which took me to where I wanted to go. So, I was kind of like stranded um, there. So I thought, oh, well, I'll walk up a bit. And plus also, I needed the toilet as well. And one thing about the UK which I hate is that there's like barely any public toilets anywhere. Like, you have to like, go into like cafes or restaurants, which most of the time are like codes on the door, so you can't really get in. But luckily I managed to find a KFC. <laughs> And at this point, I was literally bursting to go to the toilet. Um, so I managed to find a KFC and went to the toilet and got out. All was good. So I decided to then just like take a bus to go home. So I went to the bus stop and then I forgot that what the bus service is on strike. So um, that's always pretty good. So I thought, well, poop. Like, I'm literally stranded. So that was when I was in panic stations, I barely slept, so all I wanted to do was just go home and go for a sleep, but instead I was like stranded in this like village, so um, I was in panic stations, I didn't know what to do, um, so I decided in the end to book a taxi, because there was this like taxi company which um, took me to where I wanted to go, so that was quite good, but I didn't want to take a taxi originally because I'm not a huge fan of taking taxis, but I had to just do what I had to do. So all was good, uh, a taxi pulled up for me and all those kind of things. But the only problem was, was that I didn't have like loose cash. Like, I didn't have any like bank notes with me. And I thought that they'd take like cab because I mean, what did they do during the COVID time? Like surely they couldn't have like took cash during like COVID because of all the germs and stuff. So I was thinking, oh, well, they'll probably have a cab machine. Oh, it'll be good. So I can just like pay by card. Well, when I got to where I wanted to go, the driver was like, oh, um, it's £19. I was like, oh, do you have a, ca a card machine? Because I've really got a card with me. And then this driver was like, no, I don't have a card machine. And I was like, shizer. Like, 
what would I do? So, and plus there was no like cash machine nearby, so I could have like just like ran to the cash machine and just got wherever I need to get out and just like um, brought it to the taxi driver, but um, there wasn't any, so um, that was kind of embarrassing. So I ended up having to do a bank transfer, so there's like driver in the end, and it's honestly so embarrassing. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I then just went home, I got myself a chocolate fudge cake, um, because boy, like after that episode, I really needed something to, I really needed a cake, like. Yeah, so um, I went home and just slept. So um, at least I got home, but um, it was not easy. So yeah, um, so moral of the story is, is that don't go shopping into like a big city when you've just practically pulled an all-nighter because it's going to be really hard. So um, yeah, but hope I liked watching this um, little vlog. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another vlog. Um, stay tuned for all that and then yeah bye